Question. All right, so question number one, um, how can a Christian discern God's voice or hear God speak? Um, that's the first part of the question. Uh-huh. Well, you can do the second part. The second part goes with it or no? No, it looks like it's a different one. Uh, say the, the first one again. Yeah, how can a Christian discern God's voice or hear <clears throat> God speak? Um, God is very unique in how he speaks. He's not, he's not just a one-dimensional God or a one-way type God. He's a God that speaks in unique ways. And I, and I think the beautiful thing about God is, is that each and every one of us have a unique relationship with him, meaning that the way he communicates with you may not be the same way he communicates with me because he knows my unique personality. He knows my unique uh, past. He knows what triggers me, he knows what catches my eye. So to answer that question, the best way to decipher between whether God is speaking to you or not, the best way to analyze that is through your own relationship. You can't expect God to speak into your life if your life has a lot of clutter. A lot of people think that God just, just strikes down and speaks, and he can, don't get me wrong. God is speaking, and, but, but there's times where we have to steal our lives in order to receive a message from God, because many times we have so many voices in our lives that are competing with his voice. And God God is the type of God that says, I don't even allow my words to compete with other people's philosophies. I'm not saying that you don't have thoughts in your mind. We're talking about actually entertaining other people's opinions while God's not going to just strike down into your mind and be like, this is what I want you to do. If you're not even attentive, sensitive, or even pulling yourself out of a certain place in life to actually hear from God. So to specifically answer that question, I would tell that person to analyze their life and to see what is loudest. What is the most dominant voice? Who is speaking most in my life? They don't even have to be present for them to speak loud in your mind. Some of us, our moms are still speaking. Our dads are still speaking. We ain't talked to them for a while. There are certain people that are still, whose voices are heaviest, or who are the heaviest in our minds instead of God. If your life is full with a lot of voices, that means your mind and your soul is too cluttered. I posted on Instagram today in my story, I said, keep your soul clean. It's like, you know, you don't bring guests in when your house is the dirtiest. You know, most of us, we, we, do, we, do, we clean deeply when we know there's company coming. So if you want God to, 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 to join and be in company with you, you got to make sure, okay, is my soul clean? Is there sins that's keeping me from hearing? Because sin doesn't only separate you from God, it separates from him speaking. Because he's saying, even if I speak to you, he says, or well, when you ask of wisdom, that's what scripture says, when you ask of wisdom, don't ask amiss. Because even if you hear or listen or receive, you will, you will conceive, now you will consume it with your own lust. Meaning that some of us, our desire ultimately to hear from God is for selfish reasons. You gotta check your motive and ask yourself, why do I even want to hear from him? Because sometimes God says, I'm not even gonna allow my answer to be ahead of who I am in your life. Some of us, the need to know a husband, who the husband is, the need to know who our wives is, the, the wives, my bad, wife is, <laughs> the need to know certain things trumps who we care about most. It's so sad that we, our answers are number one or, is a, or are ahead of God being the answer. I tell you, if you want to hear God speak to you, be available. If you're not available, all you're going to get is a busy tone because God said, I have a lot of ears and hearts who desires to hear from me. Let me see that first part of that question again. Make sure I answer this. Did that make sense? <clears throat> How can a Christian discern God's voice or hear God speak? Listen, as far as how I know that God is speaking to me, it, oh, I, can, I can repeat this over and over again. It comes down from a relationship. Listen, I know my mom's voice. I don't care. I mean, when I was a kid, but I'd be on Alpha. I done snuck off. You know what I'm saying? I know we passed out five where the candy was and mom was busy over there with the meats and vegetables. So I was like, let me sneak off. But as soon as I heard mama's voice, I knew who that voice was. So many of us, we entertain more strangers' voices than the Savior's voice. He said, man, he said, um, my sheep know my voice. A stranger, they will not follow. Listen, who's your shepherd? Who's leading you mentally, physically, emotionally? Spiritually, whoever that shepherd is, you're going to listen to first. And it's so sad that we'll, that's why I say, do not seek counsel. Don't seek external counsel before you seek the eternal counsel. Everyone outside of you is only supposed to confirm what God has already spoken. But many of us, we bypass the Holy Spirit to seek counsel from someone else, and then we get mixed feelings, and we get mixed emotions. And yes, a lot of people are spiritual, are close to God, but they ain't God. 
and they have opinions, they have filters, they have bad days, good days, they have all these different things that can sway you in directions you don't even want to go. That's why I say before you go seek counsel from anyone else, say, God, I'm going to wait 14 days before I ask somebody else for advice. Seven days before I ask somebody. And God, I'm not going to listen to music on the way to work. I'm not going to listen to music on the way home from work. I'm going to keep my house still and quiet as much as possible. If the house is chaotic and you got things <clears throat> that can't allow your house to be still, go, go for a drive, go for a walk. Practice stilling your life because the more you practice stilling your life, the clearer you'll hear God speak in your life. But I'm telling you, if you don't have a relationship and you only have a relationship when you need an answer, then God must not be the answer in your life. So that's how you discern. You discern God's voice by going deeper in relationship with him. I know that people might want to um, four or five other steps, but if you can't do step one, the rest won't work. Um, and people think, man, I swear people swear God speak all the time. God don't be talking that much, yo. <clears throat> he has already spoken in his written word. God says, man, you go to my written word first and I might speak after that. <laughs> you, you, God, God ain't in the repeating what he says business. When God, we know the day, the hour, the color of the carpet, the concrete was standing on when we actually heard God, but then we continue to question. We got to get to a place where we say, God, I know you spoke to me. And I trust it. And the reason why God speaks to us so far away from the answer coming is because he wants to see how consistent you will be with him or will you just be like the nine lepers that receive a healing and walk away and don't turn around so i just challenge you to dig deeper in god be sensitive still yourself and pre and present yourself in a place to hear from god